going to sew a bathing suit for Lori and for that I printed out this sheet with the pattern on. I put the link for this in the info box below and it's a PDF file so it should be printed out in the perfect size. But first of all I'm just going to take a tiny scissor and I'm going to cut out these two shapes so I have them. I cut out the two pieces and now I'm going to find my fabric and I have this one from the mermaid tail and I want to use that. So I'm going to cut out one part of that one and two of this, of this fabric. Uh, but if you could get a no fray fabric that would be better uh, and if it is stretchy as well it's also good like this is. Um, so I'm going to cut out these two pieces. I cut out the parts, one of this and two of this one, if I can get them parted here. So I have two of these and this one. So first of all I'm going to take this and I'm going of course to go uh, good side to good side. So I'm going to place this together here. And here. And the same over here. This gap. And I'm going to sew this with a... And I'm going to sew this up with a back stitch. So I'm going to take my thread. And place it. And I'm always starting with the cast over, or what you call that. There we go. And then a tiny back stitch down the side here. And I'm going to do that in both the slides. I sewed the two sides together, so now I have this front part of the bathing suit. So I'm going to take the side pieces and I'm going to take this part and sew it together here with this part and sew these two parts up here together as well. So here and here on both sides, like that. I sewn in the sides and the top piece here and I bend over a tiny part of this edge uh, and glue it down and then I sew around it and that's kind of hard with this fabric. Uh, so I did it off camera on this one. So I bend it over and sewed it all the way around with a tiny stitch really carefully and I'm going to do it over here as well but first I'm going to sew down this line straight down here and then I'm going to bend over all this edge around here and sew it tight as well um, again if this fabric is a no fray fabric it's easier because then you don't have to fold over the tiny edge here because um, it won't fray but this one is uh, fraying a tiny bit so I have to do it so I'm gonna do that and then I will be right back I sewed this back piece together and I sewed in a tiny bit of the fabric all the way around the neckline here and with this fabric it was kind of difficult up here you could put in a bigger seam allowance for that if you like to. Um, or again just use a no uh, fray fabric. But anyway, now that that's done, we need to sew together the bottom part here of the swimsuit. So I'm going to open this little part up here. 
and place it right there and then I'm going to start in the middle because that's making it easier to make the tiny fold over afterwards so I'm just going to sew it going over the edge of here a few times going back to the other side and around the edge a few times and back into the middle right there and I am actually going to make a knot right here so now I'm just going to take my fabric glue and glue this tiny edge down and sew around so that's uh, sewn around both leg parts and then you can turn it around and you're all done I will do that so it is all done and it looks like this and I made this one earlier and I actually made that out of a pair of bathing uh, pants for boys and it had this logo on it so I placed it like that on the fabric and it looks really uh, cool on there but that's how these bathing suits look and they can be a little tricky to make but uh, the end result is really fun and really cool Oh, and just because I can, I'm going to show you a simple way to make a bathing towel for your, uh, for your doll. I found this towel in a second-hand shop for almost nothing. And I kind of like the colors. So I'm going to cut out this, because I don't like that. And then I know I want the length to be 35 centimeters. And it should be around... 18 but I'm going for around 20 centimeters so that's around here and I'm going to cut off this end as well because I don't like that and there you have a very easy bathing towel for your big girl that she can lie on at the beach or wherever you want it you could uh, so a itch around here if you want to but I kind of like it as this so that's what there is for this little extra craft happy sewing